In this video, we're talking about how to take addresses out of your Smartsheet account and add them to an interactive map on your Smartsheet dashboard. Let's go. So here it is, a map on our Smartsheet dashboard that's actually interactive. So I can click on a few of these links and it pops up with some additional information that we define and it has interactive links as well so we can send our users somewhere else. This process involves a number of different pieces all added together. So not only do you need your Smartsheet account, but you're also going to need a Google account of some kind because we're going to need a Google Sheet or you can drop these out to Excel and you don't need the Google piece. But you are going to need access to a Google account because that's how we're displaying the maps. Another key concept here is that this does not update automatically. Unfortunately, this solution is pretty static. So when we set it up the first time, the next time we want to add an address to our map, we have to either go in and add that address manually, or we can download all of our address addresses outside of Smartsheet and then upload those again and replace everything that's currently on the map. So when I do come up with that solution that automatically updates these map items for us, I'm going to drop that link down in the description below so that way you have access to it. All right, so let's look at the current solution. In Smartsheet, we're going to need two things. We're going to need one, your, your sheet that has all of your map information on it. So in this case, um, I've customized it really simply, but you can add additional fields, additional columns to this as you need to. The first column is going to be our name column. What are we looking to display when someone hovers over the pin on the map? The address column is simply the address of the location. We do have latitude and longitude here because I know in certain, in some cases, for instance, like construction projects, you don't have an address yet for every location. So we do have the option of using latitude and longitude as well. And then we've got an additional column here in just for the link. So if we wanted to provide our user with a clickable link to send them to a different place, we can do that here. All right, so after we have all of our address information loaded, we're gonna go to file, export, and then we can either export it to Microsoft Excel and load it up. But to make it a little bit easier and one last step, we're gonna export to Google Sheets. When you click export to Google Sheets, if you haven't already connected your Smartsheet account to your Google Sheets account, it's going to ask you to do that. Mine's already connected and I already have our map information downloaded into Google Sheets. Now, one of the questions I get is what if I have my address information, but I don't have my latitude and longitude. If your address came originally from Google Maps, then it's going to know exactly where to find it. If you've typed your addresses in and you have not checked them with Google Maps to make sure they exist and you want to use the latitude and longitude instead, I'll show you how to do that now. In my Google Maps, I'm going to go up to extensions and add-ons and get add-ons. In the get add-ons section, I'm going to search for one that's called geocode by awesome table. Now mine already has it installed. Yours, you would download it and add it to your Google Sheets. So once we put in geocode by awesome table, we're going to launch it for the first time and then we can start geocoding. It's going to open up this little spot over here on the left, sorry, on the right, this geocode section. It's going to ask us what sheet are we on? Where's our address information coming out of our address column? And then the only thing we need to do is to select geocode. Once we select geocode, it's going to process those addresses and try and find the latitude and longitude for those addresses for us. So you can see it processed six out of six addresses and it added the latitude and longitude locations here for us. Of course, if that was blank, it would add them right back in. All right, so now that we have it geocoded, we're gonna close the sidebar and we're gonna jump over to mymaps.google.com. So when I click on the create a new map button, it's gonna build a map for me and it's gonna ask me to import my my map locations here on the left. So the first place I'm going to click is my import. It's going to ask me to choose a file to import. In this case, we could upload that Excel file that we dropped out earlier, but to make it easy, I'm going to go to Google Drive, go to my recent files because I just worked on it and my map proof of concept sheet, which is what we just looked at earlier. So this is how it's going to determine where it's going to put your pins on the map. You can either choose for it to use the address or you can choose latitude and longitude. To make things easy, I'm going to choose latitude and longitude and continue. So then it's asking me, what do you want to use as your title? So for me, the name column makes the most sense because it's got the name of the place, uh, not the address information, but the name that I've defined for that particular place. This could be your job site number. This could be your project number. 
Uh, whatever you determine needs to be that title, you can select it here. Then I'm going to click finish. So what it's doing is it's importing all of the items that were on my Google sheet and it's bringing them into my map. And now it's created these nice handy little pins for me. So there's a couple of things that we can do. We can define the, the individual colors. So if I find the, the Florida aquarium, for instance, and I want to make that one red and I want it to get it to stand out, I click the little icon over to the right and then I change the red. And now you can see the Florida aquarium is now a red pin. The other thing that we did with the Florida Aquarium is whenever we clicked on it, we actually, we had this link embedded as well. So this is a, an active link that your users, whenever they access your map, can click through to go to whatever website you want. You can send them back to a different Smartsheet sheet. So for instance, you could send them back to the project sheet of this location, or you can send them out to a client's website, a portal, anywhere you want them to go. The last thing I would do just for fun is I'm going to change the title of my map and then I'll click save. So now that we have our map looking the way we want, we've got to get it out of my maps and go embed it on our Smartsheet dashboard. This is a three-step process. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the share. So this little share button over here to the left, click on share. Then we're going to turn on anyone with this link can view. Once that's turned on, we're going to click on close. And then we're going to go up to the three dots to the right of my map. Click on those three dots and come down to embed on my site. And we're going to copy what's highlighted here in this embed on my site frame. Say, okay, now we're going back over to Smartsheet. So let me go back. So now I'm going to pull up my Smartsheet dashboard. So I'm going to edit my Smartsheet dashboard and I'm going to add a widget. The widget I want to add is my web content widget. And the first thing it asked me with my web content widget is to add the content. So I'll click on the add content button and I'll paste in uh, what I just copied out of my map, my maps. I'll click apply and here we go. So now I'm going to make this, this widget a little bit bigger for us so we can see it. And I'm going to click save. When I click save, it's going to do that quick little refresh and it's going to, it's going to bring in the view or the zoom out or down to where um, our pins are located on the map. So for instance, if I had pins just here in Louisiana, it would zoom this map in and start with that picture of Louisiana. But right now I've got pins spread out all across the country because I wanted to show the entire US. So now as a user, I can click on my Florida pin and it's going to show me the Florida aquarium. And then these are the links. Remember, these are the interactive links that we talked about. You can define more information here, not just name, uh, address, latitude, longitude, and the link. You can put as many columns in here as you like. And that's how we display map data on a Smartsheet dashboard. If you thought this video was helpful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share the video with somebody on your team that you think needs to know about it.